uh, as we head into the 21 season, uh, what you're looking forward to as the season gets underway? Uh, man, I'm, I'm really excited about all the fans being able to be back into the stadium. You know, uh, COVID hitting last year, a lot of things changing, you know, a lot of different restrictions, but uh, everything's getting closer to getting back to normal. So, you know, I'm really excited about this season. Appreciate that. If you have a question, raise your hand. Victoria Lawrence and Fuller have microphones. We'll start up here, uh, Victoria, right here on the third row, right in front of us, Owen. Hey, Owen, I just asked Bo about this, but Tony Fair's comment about taking the head off the elephant, just what's your reaction to that? Um, Bo said he, was, he liked the confidence in it. I love, I love it. You know, I love the confidence, man. It's, it's the, uh, the big, biggest rivalry in the country, in my opinion. Um, it, it's just what comes with it. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, we'll stay down front here, second row. Hey, Owen, Tyler Martin of Bama Central. Uh, you've played in the Iron Bowl before. You know how big that game is. Your coach, uh, Brian Harson, isn't, isn't really from the Southeast. Have you, have you talked to him about how big that game is and just what he should expect about the Iron Bowl? I actually tried to talk to him about it. He, uh, he actually stopped me, man. He said, look, man, we're going to take things one week at a time. Focus on going 1-0 every week. You know, when we get there, we're going to deal with him. Okay, we'll go over here on our left-hand side, third row. Hey, Owen, Nathan King, 24-7 Sports. You talked, I mean, last season, and the coaches were kind of very transparent about when KJ went down, you and Zacoby had to take the load because the freshmen just weren't ready yet. What is it about what you've seen from those guys, really that trio of guys, how they've improved from their freshman season now getting ready for sophomore year, and what do you think their roles could look like this season? Uh, they're going to be able to help us out this season a lot more, uh, specifically Wesley Steiner, man. Uh, he's really stepped up trying to just learn the plays, meet him with us a lot. Uh, he watches a lot of extra film on his own too, so I'm excited to see what he does. Uh, Cam Riley and Desmond Tisdale, they've also been doing good as well too. Um, still coming along, still trying to learn the plays, just, just, you know, just getting better at ball too, but they're going to be good this season too and be able to help us out in some ways. We'll go in the center section on the right aisle. Hey, Owen, Jordan Hill with Opelak Auburn News. I want to ask you, in the spring, you were really excited talking about the new strength and conditioning plan. Yeah. Uh, said that you guys were going to look like Marines in the fall. Just <laughs> what, what do you feel like as far as the gains that you guys as a whole team have made and how this new strength and conditioning uh, you know, plan can help you guys this fall? Uh, man, I think we're one of the hardest working teams in the country. Um, and I love what Coach Pitt has done with us. Uh, everybody feels strong. Everybody feels healthy. Um, Shoot, we just we had uh, you know testing not too long ago, man. People putting up freak numbers. Uh, had a little little combine going, and uh, it's really gonna help us out this season. Uh, we're gonna be feeling strong, feeling good all the way through. So, so yeah. Okay, we'll go back over here to the left, third row. Hey, Owen. Yeah. Harson was telling us this morning that you were one of the first guys to get into his office once he get got hired and introduce yourself to his family. Just how important was that relationship for you to start out with, and how would you describe your relationship with him right now? Uh, just the respect thing, man. He, he's he's going to be our new head coach, so I just wanted to go over there, you know, personally meet him myself, uh, be able to let him know who I am. And uh, man, we, me and Harson, we got a lot of respect for each other, man. He's a uh, outside of football. He's a really good man. Uh, has a lot of knowledge um, in our team meetings. Uh, we talk. We really talk uh, about life a lot. Uh, not even necessarily football. Sometimes uh, we have this thing we do called Real Life Wednesdays, where speakers come out and talk to us, or he even he'll talk to us himself. But um, you know, really sharp guy, man, and uh, I got a lot of respect for him. Okay, we'll go back to the center section along the right aisle again, about midway back. Connor Guerrero, Saturday on South. Can you explain what it's like for those of us who haven't done it yet to uh, tackle Tank Bigsby? <laughs> you just got to come with everything you got, man, and try to wrap his hips up, man. He's uh, really elusive. Probably try to juke you out your shoes, but, you know, you just got to get to him before he gets going. Okay, we have one back in the back part of the right section. Yes, Mark Murphy from Inside the Auburn Tigers. Can you talk about uh, the changes in the defense? What's going what's gonna to look different to fans when they go to the Akron game compared to last year's style of play? Yeah, we're going to be in 3-4 uh, defense, so we're going to be in our three-down stuff a lot more. Uh, we also still do got some four-down stuff, too, so it's going to be some similar. It's actually even with 3-4 stuff as far as, you know, coverage goes, there's still a lot of similarities between uh, his defense and um, – Mace's defense and Steele's defense. So um, as far as transition goes, you know, guys picked up on stuff really fast. But it's not going to be too different. But um, there, there still is some differences. OK, we'll go to the center section along the right aisle again. Hey, Owen, uh, going into your junior year, just how much more comfortable are you with what's expected of you and what it will take uh, to play like you have in the past or even better? Yeah, I actually was talking to my dad about this earlier this week, man. Uh, man, it's just finally found that confidence that I needed to just go out there and make plays, man. I feel. Confidence is through the roof. Uh, I feel really it's a different energy, you know, coming this off season uh, from preparation, uh, film study, and all that, man. So I, I'm really excited to see what happens this season, and I'll, I feel really good about it. 
Okay, if you have other questions for Owen, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. We've got one behind you, Victoria. Back to the back to the right. Owen, oh, uh, Jason Caldwell inside the Auburn Tigers. Newcomers, uh, you got several of them on defense. How important are the, the first couple of weeks of the preseason just to kind of get those guys prepared for what life's like in the SEC? Uh, it's, it's really important, um, especially some of the freshmen coming in. Um, um, I know T Tavares Dawson, he's been doing a really good job for us this offseason. Uh, also, Jaquez Hunter, been going hard in the weight room. You know, kids are freshmen, already squashed 600 pounds the other day. Um, but it's going to be really good for them. I think uh, the way we've been preparing this offseason, uh, they're going to be ready for it. You know, camps, camp, they're going to get their stripes in, in camp. So I don't think it's really going to be that big of a transition for them. Other questions? Raise your hand. All right, Owen, thank you very much. Uh, good luck this season.